Two months ago, we saw the ROG Strix Scar 3 back at Computex 2019, and with it comes a very heavily revamped look, and of course, there's more RGB this time around. So, inspired by the BMW Design Works, this is the ROG Strix Scar 3, and we have finally fully reviewed it, and we are going to tell you all about it in this video. As mentioned just now, the Strix Scar 3 comes with this brand new design that is inspired by the BMW Design Works, which they have collaborated with ROG to create the ROG face-off and then that inspired the design of this. So you can see the remnants of that design, like this heatsink lines here and also the very subtle brushed aluminium lines with that form this unique geometry here. So that's certainly something unique. The most notable change between the ROG Strix Scar 2 and the Strix Scar 3 is of course the amount of RGB that you have on this laptop right here. So not only that you get per key RGB lighting on your keyboard, you also get this ridiculous RGB strip around the entire laptop's bottom side, which is surely going to suck up your battery life for pure looks. That's all I can say. Oh, and also you can get RGB here. So yeah, more lights, right? So one functional upgrade you get from the previous generation is this thicker part at the back of this laptop right here that does provide a bit more ventilation that helps with thermos, which we will go into later. The second notable change here is the addition of the brand new ROG Keystone that I have right here. So this is actually an identifier for your game profile, so if you plug this into another ROG Strix Scar 3, then it will sync with your profiles on the cloud. Or you can use it as a key to access your private files in the shadow drive that is in this laptop. So all you need to do is take your ROG Keystone, plug it into this slot right here, and then a notification will appear saying that you have access to your shadow drive. One more accessory that you get in the box here is this thing, which just fell off the box. So this is actually a keyring holder for your ROG Keystone, so what you do is just put it in there and yeah, you can strap this on your bag or whatever. On the left side of the ROG Strix Scar 3, you get triple USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports which runs at 5 gigabits per second and also a 3.5 mm combo audio jack and that's all you get here. One thing that I wish here is that you get one more USB port here but at the back of the Scar 3, you also get a full size Ethernet port, a full size HDMI port, a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type C port which runs at 10 gigabits per second and is also capable of outputting DisplayPort and another power jack at the back and that's all you get. Two minor complaints here, like I mentioned just now, I do wish that you have one more USB port type A right here and I do wish that you get full size SD card reader as well. So yeah, those are my two complaints for the IO ports. One thing they did right is to remove any ports on the right side so you can have full mouse movement without any USB port obstruction there which is certainly something very very handy. Opening up the SCAR tree is fairly simple. You just need one finger and you get this smooth transition because of their new hinge design right here. Once again, I think this is inspired by the face-off which is co-designed by BMW Design Works. And opening up here, you can see this beautiful 15.6 inch display is with 100% sRGB color gamut and with three thin side bezels. Both sides and the top is actually very thin, but the bottom chin is actually pretty big. But I do agree with this design because the laptop itself is not in 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but the screen itself is trapped in this 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So what do you do with the spare space? Nothing. And nothing is what ASUS did with the ROG Strix Scar 3 because there is no webcam. Because the reasoning behind that is that since no one is actually using their laptop's webcam internally anyway, they're just going to either block it off or get an external webcam, so why not just remove it altogether? But one thing ASUS did right here once again is to retain the microphone, so this is how it actually sounds like when you're using this microphone right here. Then comes the trackpad of the SCAR 3. Well, we don't expect anyone to use a trackpad for gaming, so yeah, it's decently sized, it does the job well, you do have decent palm rejection if you want to type on this thing on the go, and the tracking is pretty much fine. It also uses Windows Precision trackpad, so all is fine and dandy here. If you are in Malaysia and you are buying the SCAR 3, you do get a Gladius 2 wired version for free as well. So yeah, that's a pretty good deal so you don't have to worry about this trackpad being gaming grade. 
And then comes the keyboard which also received one very big improvement which is to cut out the entire number pad in favour of a more comfortable typing experience. So everything is centred and well, overall the keys are huge and then they just feel very nice to type on. Although one complaint I have with the keyboard here is that I do wish that it has a little bit more travel distance and then the keyboard would be perfect. But as it is now, it's quite okay. And another complaint that I have here is the arrow key cluster size. Although ASUS did maintain the entire proportion of the arrow key cluster, but they made it smaller. So yeah, you do need to get a little bit used to with this new size. As for gaming performance, you do get quite a lot here. So for this configuration, you get an i7-9750H, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and also an RTX 2070. With that said, you do get about 60 FPS on Assassin's Creed Odyssey at the highest graphical settings, F1 2018, once again, highest settings, you can get about 100 FPS, GTA 5, about 70, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, you can get about 80, with ray tracing turned on, but with DLSS turned off. And then for esports titles like CSGO, 145, PUBG, about 100, Overwatch, 105, and at Apex Legends, you get 115. So, once again, this is a very powerful machine if you want to just play games. And let's not forget, this is a 15.6 inch, 240Hz, 3 millisecond display. So, yes, you can get really smooth motions. You can just downgrade your graphical settings a bit and hit that 240Hz. As for thermals, like I mentioned earlier, you do get this beefier back part of the laptop here to help with your cooling. And with that, you can get about 90 degrees on your CPU, which is pretty normal, and about 81 degrees Celsius for your GPU. So this is very excellent in terms of laptop cooling performance, especially when at this size and at this compact little body. Then comes the SSD of this laptop. For some reason, ASUS included an Intel 660p. So if you did read the news previously, the Intel 660p is the infamous QLC SSD that has abysmal speeds for a PCIe Gen 3 X4 SSD. So we can get about 1.5 gigabits per second in terms of sequential reads. Compared to other PCIe Gen 3 X4 SSDs in the market, they kind of double what Intel 660p is offering right here. So yeah, I don't know why ASUS did this, but that's what we have right here. If your workload requires high bitrate files, then yeah, you might hit a bottleneck right there. But the silver lining on this whole thing is that ASUS made it really easy to upgrade your ROG Strix Scar 3 by just opening the back and then you get access to your M.2 slot which is currently occupied by the Intel 660p and you also get an extra 2.5 inch storage disk space. So in the accessories box, you get this kit as well. So you have to connect the ribbon cable and this to your hard drive and then screw it in. So yeah, you have to do it yourself but you know, at least they give you this kit. There are also two available RAM slots on the ROG Strix Scar 3, but for our version, we have upgraded it to double 16 gigs. And if you are buying this off the shelves from the factory, you only get a single 16 gigs. So bear that in mind. And finally, the battery life of this thing. It comes with a 66 watt hour battery, which can last you about less than three hours if you're using on 60 Hertz and about one hour if you're using at 240 Hz. So yeah, it is definitely not going to last you through the whole day or half a day. So do keep that in mind. This is a gaming laptop. And comes the conclusion of the ROG Strix Scar 3. So for the price of 7,999 ringgit, I know it sounds a lot, but you do get this really perfectly crafted gaming laptop and its sole purpose is meant for gaming alone. So you get this really beautiful new design that is inspired from the BMW Design Works and then you also get this new keyboard design which I absolutely like because it is really focused on comfort and you also get this monitor that is focused on high pace gaming which is the 240Hz display with 3 millisecond response time and once again this is an IPS panel not TN so at that price point you do get one of the rarest laptop configurations in the market right now and you get one of the craziest RGB on a gaming laptop as well Get RGB here on your keyboard around the entire rim of the base. 240Hz display panel as well and this is something that is just unheard of on a gaming laptop at this price. So that is all we have to say about the ROG Strix Scar 3. Do let us know what you think down in the comments below and we will see you in the next video. Bye!